So I had a friend very kindly uh, give me a Pinebook Pro, and it has the, well, it came with the ISO keyboard, because it was one of the first ones ordered. And I wanted to have the ANSI keyboard, which is the US keyboard. And so I ordered that, and it didn't take too long to ship. It was $20 plus about $10 shipping. So <clears throat> I've installed the ANSI keyboard here. And this, you'll get something like this if you order the keyboard. Uh, <clears throat> so you see here the keys. And then you got this band here. And so I set the two side by side and I worked. And this is a handy kit that I have that I bought online, bought on Amazon. And this thing swivels on top. And so it's very handy for screwing and unscrewing stuff. Everything was Phillips head. And so I have another Phillips head. And then some tweezers might come in handy. These are some little, little plastic pieces on the corner that ended up breaking. Uh, the bottom of the, so of course this is the touchpad. I took the bottom off of the laptop and you'll take these screws out. There are, how many of the, there are four of the shorter length screws and those go at the front. You know, those are, when you put it back in, those go in the front. So, uh, I realized that I had to completely, so this is, um, we'll pretend this is the new one, and this is the one I've already installed, and I'm not going to redo this job again, but here you've got the big battery. Oh, be careful when you take the bottom of the thing, off, of the um, laptop off, because these are sticky here, and they'll, they'll pull and so you don't want to tug these delicate cables too much but basically my strategy was what I I couldn't find no information online about these was I just stared at the thing for a little while and decided well I'm gonna I'm gonna disassemble this bit by bit I'm gonna take this apart bit by bit I started with the battery does that need to go in a little further this pops out. You just slide this component out and um, you've got other things like you've got, this is the Wi-Fi I believe where that connects and that's just taped up here. Uh, there's a little band here and so all of the other connectors, this connector, um, this connector here, the screen connector this connector which uh, you'll see here this is this is it right here and this just folds over and it comes with adhesive and look how this is um, so basically all of these connectors this connector to the touchpad here um, I didn't know this and this tripped me up for a while maybe this is a very noob thing um, this seems like a noob thing for people who have fiddled with hardware a lot, but I didn't know this. So, uh, let's see, what's a good example? Right here, this, let me get the tweezers. This little piece here, it just flips up. So, there we go, flip that up. So, I hope this can be... You see there, uh, that's adhered, so I'm not going to pull that out. But see, now I'm just going to flip it back down again. So that one works that way. This one works that way. And this one works that way. So um, right here, these four screws here, this was initially covered by tape. These four screws here, these three screws here are what connects the body to the screen. Now there's one cable that's the video cable. Pop, pull, pull this little tab up and disconnect that before pulling the screen away. And uh, 
So also take a picture of what it looks like before you install the keyboard. So um, take a picture and you can refer back to that. I've got my computer right next to me, my desktop computer. So I was referring back to the picture to make sure I put the screws, all the correct screws in the right place. And uh, so that makes a difference. And just a little tip, do everything very carefully because is you'll pull something out and it'll tug at something else. Um, and so never, always look at all angles before you move anything because you don't want to tug one of these delicate wires. Uh, but basically, you just remove each component bit by bit and put them in a clean spot and then you just install it in the correct place. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and uh, connect it all up. I'm going to pop... I'm going to pop the bottom, bottom lid, bottom cover back on this without screwing it in and then make sure everything's connected correctly. Oh, when you slide in these connectors, so all these little connectors where you flip the thing off, you'll feel it slide in there. You'll feel, uh, you'll kind of feel it slide into the groove there when you pop that off. So, uh, I think that's about everything. So... Uh, oh, oh, touchpad. So this, you'll probably want to remove this cable. And let's see, what did I do? This piece is fixed right there. And the touchpad is adhered to this piece. And so uh, you'll see here, you see these tabs that's connected like that so uh, I think the touchpad obviously you need to remove the touchpad after you've removed the screen so uh, after, uh, the touchpad was the like the last thing I removed by the way and so you can just um, work this thing where they get these tabs out how did I do it I removed I kind of got on both sides and I very gently, um, anyways, I kind of finagled it. I think I gently kind of rem removed this from the adhesive. This is adhered here, kind of pried that away and you can kind of pull away and tug it. Obviously this piece won't be used anymore. So you can, this is flexible plastic to get these little tabs off here. So just gently work that away from the adhesive and get these tabs out from the adhesive. And obviously you can't do that with the screens on on the back. So uh, I hope that's helpful. If you have, if you are doing this project and you're stuck or, or uh, feel free to post a comment. Uh, so a quick correction that I initially, in my video, I had a screw here and this screw needed to be here on the board. This hole actually is where uh, one of the screws from the plate from the cover. So where you cover that. So wanted to correct that. After you install the ANSI or ISO keyboard, just make sure you run this. So here it is, uh, Pinebook Pro keyboard updater, and that'll update the firmware. So it'll actually work with uh, the keyboard you switch to and the instructions here are actually really clear, uh, crystal clear. So just pay close attention to those and update the firmware. And after I did that here, the ANSI keyboard that I installed is working just fine. Very happy.